Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Cave Story. Last time, we did a lot of things. You know, we went through the egg corridor, we found Sue. Uh, we were able to bring her back, but uh, King and the boys... Z, I was about to say boys, but no, it was really just one boy. Um, they, you know, decided to hold her captive and uh, use her as a bargaining chip for the doctor. You know, like, pass her off to the doctor in hopes to get Taroko back. So, um, you know, we're here in the bushlands in Sue's stead to go and find her brother and rescue him. Oh boy! Also, this is Santa's house, and he gave us the fireball. Best Christmas ever! So, alright, let's go. Deeper into the bushlands. This music... It's a little too happy. It's a little too happy, but whatever. You know, we can use our little rolling fireballs to murder everything yes level two so yeah already this weapon is kind of a uh, kicking ass holy crap wow l level three already and now we got blue flame because that uh, no level down damn it damn it and that's why you don't get hit by big enemies and that's why you don't get cocky about how good your weapon is getting either okay Bats? I'm getting tired of you. I was not able to hit you well. Eh, whatever. Okay, I kind of need health. So I will go for that life container up there. I think I have a better chance if I go over here. Oh, okay. Fine. I will play normally. I will use this to destroy that. Okay. Precision jumping. Ah, oh, crap. You want to get accustomed to this now because the platforming is only going to get harder from here on out. It... I have to remember, this is not as slick as Super Meat Boy. Like I played Super Meat Boy recently, but no. And I don't know, I'm, I'm used to having to overcompensate for my jumps, namely in Mario and, uh... Uh, the Rayman rebooted games, but eh. no, th this game is pretty tight with its uh, controls, though, so I don't have to behave as, in such a manner. I really wish these fireballs would kill those bats before they, you know, actually hurt me. And yeah, see, it's useful to have your fireballs there because that's not ground you can stand on. Seriously, fireball! Why you no kill? Okay, nope. Probably was not a wise decision to waste the missile on that. Oh wait, fireball, okay. I want that hard, I am not getting that hard. Okay, all right. All right, let's try to play with some skill now. Okay, you want some too bad? Yes you did. All right, all right, and here we are at Chaco's house. So let's talk to Chaco. Okay, that thing I have there looks quite dangerous. Why, yes it is. Interesting talk! Alright, fine. Whatever. Let's rest. I need the health anyway. Life refilled. But what was with that ellipses? Hmm. It... doesn't... Oh, okay Something was supposed to occur here. Okay, maybe not. Well then, let me just save the game then. Okay, one random interruption later. Hmm, I see a hole on the other side of the billowing flames. You can't get past the fire. Oh man. You wanna go through my fireplace? For that, you're gonna need to get a bit of jellyfish juice. The big jelly has it. And now jellyfish have spawned out of nowhere. I'm not making that up. Fine, whatever, I'll rest now. And she jumped right in the bed with you. Chaco's Road. Red lipstick from Chaco. It has no use. So yeah, that is one of the um, useless items you can get in this game. Just random collectibles you can get for no apparent reason. So apparently while we were asleep... Come to think of it, robots sleep? Eh, whatever. But while we were asleep... 
Chaco probably did um, inappropriate things to us. She thought we were the wrong kind of robot. Oh, whatever. Anyway, let's just leave. And yep, see, jellyfish. Out of freaking nowhere. Where did they come from? Why did they come here? The world may never know. Blue flame. Kill these bats. You're not doing a good job of killing these bats. There we go. Oh no! Enemies, I did not see them. Cleverly disguised enemies, damn you! Okay. So, we're looking for the big jellyfish. You'll be able to tell him apart from the other jellyfish because he's pretty freaking big. Don't worry, we won't miss him. We won't miss him. Yep, see, he's right, right up there, right up at the tippy top. I'm just clearing out the uh, land a little. Actually, I will be more comfortable if I'm using my polar star here. That is not my polar star. This is my polar star. Okay. Just murder everything. That's the name of the game. Actually, no, the name of the game is Cave Story. Yes, the, the, na the name of the game has not changed. But for all sakes and purposes, right now, we're killing everything. Okay, and... Whatever, I'll just spam my shots and you are dead. Obtain the treasure chest. Op oh, open the treasure chest. Obtain the jellyfish juice. But instead of taking this to Chaco's house, I'm going to make a little detour. <gasps> Cutting ahead! Okay, so here we are back at Mimiga Village at the assembly hall. Because, yeah, there's a fireplace here. Want to use the jellyfish juice? Why, yes, I do. And I like how, you know, we killed the jellyfish and, you know, we got a bottle of the juice. I mean, the, the bottle just came out of nowhere. I, I assume it was just in the jellyfish's body. But there was something buried within the ashes. We obtained the bub line. Yes, we obtained a secret weapon. It's not the most, uh, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? fear inducing name, that was horrible grammar, but I think you get the point. I mean, when you hear bub line, that doesn't really strike fear into your heart. But yeah, this is what it does. It shoots bubbles. And it automatically recharges too, so... Yeah, you know, you can just shoot bubbles to your heart's content, and then... You know, you have limited ammo to some extent. But when you stop, it just refills itself. I have no idea what kind of technology that runs on but it exists and yeah I mean it's not really the most effective weapon well at level one it it just flat out sucks uh, but it does get a little bit better maybe I'll be able to show it off I guess I don't know eh, but whatever let's go on back to the bushlands Okay, as you can see right here, I've managed to get a level 2 bub line, and now it's actually pretty freaking good! Yeah, you know, you just have to get past that awful, awful first impression. But, yeah, it's good for taking out, you know, swarms of enemies. It's a nice little crowd-clearing weapon. It's not really that useful against, you know, a singular enemy that's chasing me down and that has a lot of HP, but... They managed to get the job done sooner or later. Killing jellyfish with bubbles. This does not seem correct. And now we have the level 3 bub line. Which is pretty freaking good. Yeah, you just need to get it to level 3 for it to be somewhat useful. You know, just fill the screen with bubbles and then release. And they shoot off in any direction that you're holding. Okay, th yeah, this is actually pretty good. Huh. I gave the bug line a lot of crap in, like, my previous playthroughs of this game, but I guess it does have its uses. Alright, bug line, do your shit. Okay. And then, yeah. I mean, it's not doing, like, you know, a crap load of damage, but it's getting the job done. I said, it's a nice little crowd clearer. All right, um, everything's maxed out, so just to make this go quicker, missile. Oh god, it, it would probably do me well to not miss. 
Seriously? How much HP do you have, guy? Eh, whatever. We have more jellyfish juice! And now we can go over to Chaco's house, but... I must make a quick detour. Cutting ahead! So here we are, back at Santa's house. I didn't really need to cut ahead, I mean, it's right there. But yeah, as you can see, Santa has his own little fireplace. So, you know, let, let's, let's go ahead and help him out, because, I mean, how else is he going to deliver presents if there's fire in his own fireplace? I don't know how that's going to impact him delivering presents, but whatever. There's something within the ashes. Obtain some charcoal. Don't worry, that's going to be useful later on. Just getting it now so I don't have to backtrack as much. Seems like a suitable place to save. Alright. So now, let us fight our old foe, the jellyfish, one more again. And, and try not to get hit by these weak enemies. Well, the blue guys, they, they, they have the ability to kill me, so I, I kind of want to be careful around them. But everything else is like, eh. You guys are lame sauce. Lame sauce? Oh my god, I, no. I never want to say that again. Alright, so I got a third jellyfish juice. And quick side no, no, no. We're 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 going back. We're we're going back to Chaco's house. There is nothing left for us to do with the uh jellyfish juice in other locations. So now we can actually advance the game. Uh oh god. Why must you all blend in so well with the grass? Oh well, whatever, and more bats, only now I'm using an actual weapon that can kill them because I'm not stubbornly trying to level up my, uh, fireball. Alright, and we'll just kill those bats because they were looking at me crossways, and I will not stand for that. Alright. So now we're back in Chaco's house, hopefully she won't touch us inappropriately if I choose to go to sleep. I'm gonna save the game, you know, gotta save early, save often. And then, yes, I'll use the jellyfish juice. On the fireplace and here we are on the other side of the bushlands and she just you know goes ahead and sets the fire back up it's like you know she was mad that we would dare to uh, you know put it out but we kind of needed to do that so we can actually you know advance the game save the world platforming is hard <laughs> oh boy All right, let's try this again. The Jump of Champions, see, it's not even that hard. It's not even that hard. Don't know why I messed up that one time. Oh well, then you gotta watch out for the holes here, you know, because yeah, there are more red spikes. We have Commander Video's albino brother who's shooting. All right. He's dead, I guess, I assume, I don't know. What is this? A power supply room. Oh boy. Nothing we can do there just yet, so... Okay, we got the little Commander Video guys who were kind of destroying me. We have a frog. Just, you know, naming the enemies that I'm killing. For reasons, I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh wow, we got a pink bike here. Somebody was riding in style. And it won't open. <gasps> help! The cracking wall is asking for help. And oh, there's someone in that crevice. Hey you, boy, I need to get out of here. Would you, um, please help me? Fine, you know, I guess we will. We are the protagonists after all. Please take this. Obtain the rusty key. It was left in this room. Go ahead and use it if you can. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll get around to opening the door. All right, so, uh, yeah, I guess I can go over here now. Make that frog! I want that frog to die. I want that frog to die. I don't like how he's staring at me. I don't like it. Okay, he dropped a lot of experience. Too bad everything is at full, you know, ma well, it's max level. So I don't really know why I went out of my way to collect that experience to begin with. So yeah, might as well just do this now. Because we have a boss fight coming up. 
Ooh. Oh, no, frog. Why, why are you trying to sneak up on me, frog? So it's like that now? It's like that? Really, frog? Screw you two. All right, power supply room. Use the rusty key. So yep, this is the power supply room. Looks just like a power supply room, you know, like just like how it should. It's a robot. It's like it's not powered on. It's one of you, quote. Well, you know, he, he, he looks a little bit different, you know, but eh, whatever. Fan power supply offline. Malco, what the hell is a Malco? Yeah, whatever, but that power supply is offline as well. Yeah, why not? Let's turn the power on. I'm not paying the electricity around here. And we powered up the robot. It has a nice little skirt and intruder sighted. Terminate immediately. Robot, no, I'm one of you and wait a minute. <gasps> Kool-Aid! And oh no, it's Balrog. Did you know that the Mimigo I found wasn't Sue? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I did know that, you know. E everybody kind of knew that. Okay, Balrog's theme. So much better with the original music. Okay, but yeah, she wasn't Sue, we, we, we know. Doctor was extremely upset. He's received quite the beat down. <laughs> and I like how he just smiles after he says that. Pity says she's just a girl and the master can't be disobeyed, so it's our fate and it's time here to break you for real. Better prepare yourself. I am prepared. Oh god, no! Oh wow, I did not take damage there. Well, whatever. Okay, my missiles are kind of giving him a bad day, destroying his little projectiles. I am empty. So then let's go ahead and just use the fireball. Yeah, come on, Balrog. You're not that hard to deal with. Actually, yeah, I can just keep doing this. You know, go back and forth, kind of destroy your ass. Yep, yeah, mm-hmm. Your projectiles, they aren't hitting me. Did I take damage? Did, did, did he land on me? Well, I am a robot carrying weapons. No, that, that that's exactly what I am. Yay! And he still had enough strength to crash through the ceiling again. Wow, I did take some damage there. Oh boy. Brother Robot, are you okay? It has been crushed in. His body is jammed into the floor. You wanna pull his body out? Uh, yeah. And that is how you fix a robot. <laughs> Thank you. You are a good person. No, I am not a person. I am a robot. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I am strong. You know, I don't like to brag, but yeah. Th thank you. Yeah. Do something to express your gratitude. Oh, so you're that kind of robot. Oh, you're, you're only capable of making mobs. Oh, okay. So you're that kind of robot. All right. All right. You must be friends with many a terrorist. Huh. Okay, that's it. You only can't make it a bomb. Aren't you about to tell me what I need to... Okay. He's supposed to put me on a little quest, so... Maybe I didn't activate something over here. Uh, give, give me a few seconds. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you're when he gives you the key, you're supposed to think, oh, it works on that door, and it doesn't, because it's rusted shut. And there's no keyhole, we need to break it down, there has to be a better way. All right, and then that's when you're supposed to go over to the power supply room. Okay, it's all coming back to me now. And eh, whatever, those bats, you can live for now. I'm not too sure I'll be in a good mood when I come back through there. That's all right. I can do something to express gratitude. That's it. Cape bank bombs. You want to open the rusty door? What? Someone is trapped inside? You definitely are a good person. <laughs> I understand. Let's make a bomb then. Yay! You will demolish that door. Please locate the following materials for the bomb. Charcoal. Well, I already got that. Jellyfish juice. Well, I need to go back to get that. And gum base. I have no clue what the hell that is, but see, kids? That's all you need to make a bomb. You just need, you know, some charcoal, jellyfish juice, and gum base. Yeah, cave story telling you how to make bombs since, when the hell did this game come out? 
originally 2004, I think. I should know this. I'm a Cave Story fan. Eh, whatever. So we need to locate all those items so we can make a bomb. And uh, how am I doing on time? Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do that next time. So, yep, I already have the charcoal and... Yeah, I can now actually go back to get the uh, jellyfish juice because now the fans allow me to get back up here. And plus, you know, there were fans around Chaco's house. Because if you noticed, it's impossible to, you know, bring the jellyfish juice over here when the power is not on. Because you, know, you have to use it to get through her fireplace. So yeah, we can go back and get that and then uh, go get some gum base. All that and more next time. I want to end with the bub line. If it will actually start hitting enemies. And whatever, Polar Star. So, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. And see you next time for some more Cave Story. Where we're going to make a bomb. Oh boy. That won't backfire. Foreshadowing. Well, no. They're, they're, eh, whatever. This is getting awkward. Goodbye.